So we're here at STR Ericsson at Mobile World Congress. And uh, did you announce a new processor? Yes. So this is our new processor, the 9540, uh, which is an application processor, which uh, basically embed uh, dual ARM Cortex N9 running at uh, 1.85 GHz. Uh, we have, in terms of GPU, the Imagination uh, SGX uh, 544, uh, which from our previous version is uh, three times uh, more powerful. And uh, it's also possible to embed uh, the LT mod our LT modem inside and also a set of connectivity. So the, the LT modem is on the same chip? On the same no, it's two chip. Two chip? On two guys, yes. So when is this on the market? Now, uh, what we target on the market is... Um, in terms of phone map, we, we are announcing the 8540, which will be a modem and application processor on one single die. All right, so this is the 80, 8540 or 9540? We are presenting 9540. 9540, but 8540 is the one with the single die? Yes. So when is that? It's uh, for 2012. 2012, yes. later. Yes. And uh, 9540 is earlier, even, or uh, at the same time? I cannot comment on that. Okay, cool. So, what is so, this one doing? Yeah, so, so, so basically what we are... Um, so what we are showing in, in this booth, we are showing some... Uh, because it, it embeds uh, some, uh, multimedia, some uh, multimedia hardware IPs. So we have a setup yeah. of uh, multi-standard codec. Uh, up to uh, 60 FPS, 1080p. And uh, we have embedded the G1 codec in our solution. So on the first demo, we are showing uh, a VPS 1080p video playback, 40 FPS. And you using only 400 megahertz? Yeah, because we have uh, we are using uh, uh, dynamic voltage and uh, frequency. Uh, uh, so we can change dynamically the frequency and the voltage uh, of the CPUs. All right. What are you showing? And, uh, yeah, so in, in, in this typical example, we see that uh, the CPU are not loaded, and we are able to switch to 400 megahertz. So yeah, that's uh, one of our benefits also is that we are uh, supply voltage that uh, can so show. At 0.6 volts. All right. So uh, whereas uh, typical implementation is one volt, so it's a real differentiator. Nice. And what are you showing there? Here yeah, we're showing uh, the LT capabilities. So uh, it's uh, it's a video playback, uh, video streaming on YouTube over LT. All right. We are showing uh, an OpenCL uh, stack, software stack implementation, okay. which takes advantage of our uh, dual core processor. All right. There? Yeah. What is this? This one, uh, it's a. Uh... Wait, if you can see. Over there? Yeah, no, it's okay. So just it was yeah. not uh, prepared. Okay, back. Yeah, we are showing that we are capable of uh, nominally we are one dot eighty five at one dot eighty five gigahertz. One dot eighty five gigahertz right now? No, no. Here we are showing that we can go up to two dot two gigahertz. Two dot two. Yeah. So we are showing it in an example with. Uh, uh, typically, uh, it's a video editing application. You want yeah. to, uh, uh, you have uh, captured the video in HD resolution, and you want uh, to re-encode this uh, application in a standard definition. Okay. So that, uh, in that case, we are not using our hardware accelerators. We are using software codecs. Okay. So you have uh, your settings. It's in a standard definition. Okay. For re-encoding. And then what you're going to see is that when I'm starting to re-encode the video, we're switching to the video. Nice. So that's the maximum? 2.2. It's crazy fast. That's a possibility. It doesn't get too overheated? It'll, it'll, it'll be fine. And what are they showing here? So we are showing the capabilities of our GPU uh, from imagination. 
So we have basically two scenarios, one uh, over HDMI and one on uh, our reference uh, tablet platform. So we are running on this scenario uh, at fit around 55 uh, Nice. So it's quite powerful. Yes. All right. So there was a 9540 and an 8540. Yeah. And the difference is LTE, not LTE. Or uh, with 9540, you can uh, associate uh, 9540 with the uh, uh, LTE modem. Okay, in two yeah. in two dies. Uh, with uh, 8540, you will have the modem and uh, the application processor in one single die. So is there a difference in price? I guess the integration is more expensive, or it's just a matter of time. Uh, Later. I can okay. comment on this. Yeah.